Welcome to another GeoGebra tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to show that the sum of the interior angles of the triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So we'll be using sliders and rotate triangles in order to show that uh, when the vertices are put together, the, um, the angle measure add up to 180 degrees. So the first part is to create line AB. So we use the line, the line through two points tool to construct uh, line AB. So these two points will be the, will be two of the vertices of the triangle. Next, we create um, another point, which is the third vertex. And then we use the polygon tool to construct triangle ABC. So to construct triangle ABC, um, select the polygon tool and then click A, click B, click C, and then click A again to close the polygon. Next we construct the midpoint of BC. So select the midpoint tool and then click B, click C. Next we construct the slider which will be or which will measure the the amount of rotation of the triangles. So we create two first we create slider alpha from zero to one hundred and eighty degrees. And then another slider, slider beta, which is also one which is also from zero to one hundred and eighty degrees. So these are our two sliders. Next, we rotate triangle ABC about point D. So to do this, we need the rotate. This is the rotate uh, object around point tool. So we click this uh, tool click the interior triangle and then click point B. So we choose the amount of rotation is alpha and clockwise. Okay, so this is uh, A prime, B prime, C prime is the rotated triangle rotated by 45 degrees clockwise. So if we if we move the alpha slider, so the angle rotates, or the triangle rotates about D. Next, we create another uh, midpoint, the midpoint of A prime, C prime. And then again, rotate A prime, B prime, C prime about E. So we click the rotate object around point by angle tool, click the interior of triangle, and click E. This time, we place beta, and again clockwise. So we have two, we have actually total of three triangles. Okay. Next, we will be hiding the points that we are not need that are uh, not needed. So we hide points C double prime and yeah b prime a prime and c prime okay so because we won't be needing that next we use the angle tool this one to construct angle measures so click the angle and then click the interior angle 
I mean the interior of the polygon. And we change the color of uh, each angle. So the corresponding angles should have the same color. So for example, this is um, this is the first angle, angle A. So the corresponding angles are this angle. So this angle here and this angle here. So this is A. So let's see which is uh, okay, so this is A. We copy the visual style. So this time this angle has no label. So if you copy here, this angle will have also no label. Okay. You see, so this is this is also the corresponding angle. Okay, so the three angles have no labels. Next we change the color of the largest angle. I think this is the largest angle. First we um, don't show the label, we hide the label, and then we change the color to red. Okay. Oops, that's not it. We want, we don't know about the polygon, we want the angle. So, I, I think we can use this and then copy the visual style. So these three are largest angles. And then what we have left is the smallest angle, which is this one. So we change this angle to blue and we hide the label. And then copy the visual style to this angle and this angle. And I think we made a mistake here, so we hide the label of the polygon. So we are done. So what does this show? We show that the angles with the same color are congruent. So if I rotate one triangle, on the other triangle, the three angles, which are, which are the green, the blue, the blue and the red, the green, the blue, and the red actually add up to half a circle, which is equal to 180 degrees. So, and if I even if I change the shape of the triangle, you see, whatever shape, these um, these angles here, here still remain 180 degrees, which is which means that the angle sum of the these angles of these three angles is equal to 180 degrees. So that's all. I hope you have learned something. Thank you.